This video is going to be all about monolithic stairs in Revit. First, I'm going to show you how to apply finishes to risers and treads. Then we're going to be talking about the landing thickness. Then I'm going to be showing you how to create this really cool and elegant monolithic railing and making sure that it fits in perfectly. Then we're going to create an interesting zigzag stair. And finally, my favorite, I'm going to be showing you how to create a fully solid monolithic stair in Revit. Let's go. Now quickly, before we jump into Revit, I would just like to ask you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. I'm going to link it up in the cards above and then also down in the description of this video. If you're serious about learning Revit, that's definitely the best place to be with over 140 hours dedicated to all of the interesting and complex topics inside of Revit. So now without any further ado, let's jump straight into Revit. And here we are in Revit. I'm just going to navigate to the level one floor plan and let's first create a stair and then we're going to start modifying it and exploring all of these tips. So I'm just going to go here to the circulation panel, click on the stair tool. And because we're going to be talking about monolithic stairs here in the properties panel, you want to pick out the monolithic stair. Now it's going to display in the properties panel how many uh, the, or the desired numbers of steps. So I'm just going to follow that. And then let's create one run. I'm just going to hit the escape key once. And before we actually create it, let's change the width here. I'm just going to go with 1600 millimeters. And then let's try again. So let's go like this, extend it a little bit, and then do the other one. So we have a little landing in the middle. And in the 3D view, this is what that's going to look like. Now, before we hit finish, I'm just going to go here to railing and I'm just going to turn off railing altogether by setting this to none and then click OK. And finally hit finish to complete this stair. And it doesn't have railing at the moment. Now let's select the stair and let's first talk about tip one, which is going to be adding material as finish by using risers and treads. So when you create a stair like this, a monolithic stair, when you select it and go into edit type, you're going to get this type properties menu. And then in the type properties menu, we have the run type. This is called a monolithic run. And when we click on this little button, it's going to open up the type properties for that run. And this is just one monolithic material. So usually this would be poured out in concrete. So you would have a concrete stair. Now, sometimes you might want to add some sort of a finish to that stair, either as tiling or some other finish uh, type material. So what you can do for that to mimic that here is to go to treads and risers, turn them both on, then you would set the thickness to the thickness of that material. So let's say I want to add some sort of a wood finish, I'm going to use some composite material with a fake wood finish. And let's say that's five millimeters thick with the glue or something like that. So I'm just going to apply here, or let's go with six, and then do the same thing here for the riser. So for the thickness, I'm just going to add that number just like that. And then you're going to activate these two fields for the actual uh, materials. So I can click there and assign a material. So I can just search for a material. So let's bring up this material browser just like that. And now let's search for wood, for example. And then let's see, okay, so we have these wooden planks. Okay, let's apply that. And I'm just going to click here. And this is a cool tip for Revit in general. You can select a material, control C to copy, and then you just paste it here and it's going to apply that same material. So now when we apply that and then click OK, apply, OK. Now, when we go here to visual style and turn this into realistic, you can see that here we have applied that uh, wood finish material over the main material. So here we do seem to have some, I think it's just because of the shadows. So you can see it on the other side. So if I flip it around, yeah, you can see we have applied that material uh, here just as a thin layer on top. If I turn on 10 lines, you can see, so this is the actual uh, tiles or uh, laminate or whatever material is used for that. So that's how you can use dreads and risers in order to apply finished materials on monolithic stairs. 
Moving forward for our second tip, I want to talk about the thickness of this landing here. So I always found it a little bit weird to have such a thick landing on these monolithic stairs and usually by default they come out like this and I don't like that. So what we're going to be doing is just modifying that. So let's select the stair again, go into edit type and now let's open up the landing type and here what you can see that this landing is 300 millimeters. And for our run, if I open that for a second, it's only 150 for the structural depth. So what that means is that here, this depth at the thinnest part of the stair is 150. And then on the uh, landing, it's 300. So it doesn't make sense. I think those should be equal in order to kind of achieve an elegant look. So I'm just going to click here on the landing type, click on this little button to open up that type. And then what we can do here is just duplicate the type, create a new one at 150 millimeter thickness, at least for the name right now, and then change the actual thickness here to 150 in this case, hit apply, okay, and then once we hit apply here again, as you can see, it's going to change to that smaller thickness, and I think this is going to look a lot more elegant this way. Now, moving forward, uh, trying to keep this elegant uh, stair, uh, as you have seen, I have removed the railing because I didn't want to have regular railing. So let's add a kind of a clean monolithic railing to this clean monolithic stair. So we can do that by using these supports. So these would usually be used in assembled stair, in assembled stairs. However, I like to use them in monolithic stairs to create kind of a full concrete, elegant monolithic stair. So here, what I would do is I would go to one of the supports. So let's go to the left support and then change it from none to uh, stringer closed. This is the one you want to use. And then here we have the string or, or left support type. And I can just click on this little button. It's going to open up that type. And then here we can make edits. So what I'll do is I'm just going to switch to this one and then duplicate and call this one the 150 millimeter. So I'm just going to have the same thickness to have kind of an overall uh, same uh, kind of uniformity click OK. And then here for the width, you want to change that to 150. For the structural depth on the run, you want to change that to 150. Structural depth on the landing, 150. And then total depth, I'm going to go with, let's go 1200 millimeters and then hit apply. OK. And now when I hit apply, it's going to create that. So let's OK out of this menu. And as you can see, we have this perfect uh, railing. Well, it's not railing, it's a stringer. However, it is acting in as the railing and it's following the edge of the stair and that landing perfectly. So it's perfectly smooth and it's exactly what you want to see for uh, this type of a stair. Now for the next step, I want to show you how to create a zigzag stair. So this stair looks nice. It has this smooth line on the bottom, looks very clean. However, sometimes you want to do a zigzag stair. It might be fun. It might work for the interior and so on. So let me show you how that works in Revit. You select the stair, you go to edit type, and then here you want to go to the run type, click open this up. And then here for the underside surface, we have smooth, but then we also have stepped. So if I change this to stepped and then hit apply, it's going to create this stepped zigzag stair. I think it looks cool uh, for, for some type of interior designs. I think this can be uh, really, really nice. I think it can work really well. And finally, for the final uh, tip, I want to show you how to create a fully solid stair. So here we have this small stair, it might lead to a patio or something like that. And let's say we don't want to present it like this as just a kind of an angular plane with steps. Let's say we want to have kind of a full triangle fill everything out with concrete or something like that. So we can actually achieve this within the stair tool. So what you want to do is just select that stair, then go into edit type, then you want to uh, open up the run type just like this, open that up. And you want to set it to smooth and find the structural depth. And you just want to increase this until this thing is filled out. So for example, if I set this to 300, hit apply, 
as you can see, it's going to be thicker. However, if we go to 500, it's going to be even thicker, but we need a little bit more. Let's see, is it 600 or no, a bit more. Let's go eight. And there we go. Click OK, apply, OK. And now we have this kind of complete full uh, monolithic piece of geometry. And it's going to work for this particular situation where I want to use it. Uh, of course, I wouldn't recommend this on large stairs and just uses too much material. It isn't necessary, but for something like this, I think it works really well. Okay, and that's going to conclude this video about tips for stairs. If you want to get access to all of these Revit project files, as well as all of my other Revit project files, I've got over 500 files on my Patreon page, which I'm going to link up in the cards above, and then also down in the description of this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.